Hi, my name is Cecil Steinberg, and I'm making this video to show you the progress I'm making on a platform layer I've been working on for the Intel Ultimate Decoder Challenge called Betray. So um, this platform layer is very similar to GLUT or SDL or other platform layers like that, but it has some really, really nice features to it. Um, it does the normal things like opening this display, um, gives you an OpenGL context, it gives you timing, it gives you threads, immutices, execution, it gives you access to the cut and paste buffers and other sort of things like that. For instance, here is a requester, so you can get requesters from Windows and things like that. Um, and then obviously it does mouse pointers and things like that. Um, but what makes this really, really cool is that it's extendable. So you can already see there's sound going on here, and that's actually from a plugin that hooks into the sound API, and um, it provides the microphone. And it also um, gives output. So here I'm going to put a sound source, and I can move it around, and it has full Doppler. It's full 3D sound. And what's cool about this is that you can make a closed source application, and then people can add support for new features and hardware just using the plugin interface. Um, so you don't have to have an open source application for people to add cool stuff to it. So an example of that would be this, which is a 360 controller. You can see that I can now um, input uh, analog axis data. I can also do um, um, button presses with codes and everything. Um, and you can add as many of these axes or buttons as you want from, from the plugin API. And the same goes with the pointer. So here we have one pointer, um, but if we move over to this machine, uh, which is a multi-touch, we have multiple um, pointers that are coming from the multi-touch. And this ability to add new features uh, goes beyond just input. You can also fiddle with output. So here I'm going to turn on a plugin um, that actually takes over the application a little bit and asks it to draw the display twice. And it draws them slightly different to get a red and a green eye and giving you an anaglyphic uh, 3D image. Um, so this is kind of something the application doesn't have to support. Uh, the API does that for you. Um, it also supports actually regular 3D, um, but um, I don't have a 3D display, unfortunately, so I can't test that. Um, and this is obviously really useful if you're doing things like head-mounted head displays or caves or weird display uh, environments where you want to really muck with the output. And um, I have two cameras here uh, that unfortunately I haven't had the chance to support properly yet. Uh, it's the Track IR and here's the Intel depth seeing camera. And I've managed to get some data out of them, but they're not really in the API yet. But you can imagine doing some really, really cool stuff with that. So um, now I want to show another plugin that fiddles with the output. So uh, I'm going to close this and see that one of these plugins output a image that looks like this in Photoshop. So this is an image that has every color in color space in it. And I can actually go in here and adjust it. So let's say I'm going to invert the image and make it negative. And then I'm just going to save it. And then I'm going to restart this application. And let's see what happens now. So normally, um, this, this is what it looks like. But if I then press this key, uh, it goes through the color corrector and everything becomes negative. So this shows you how much you can uh, modify the output. Um, this application that you're seeing is obviously is a test application for testing the API, but I am working on some real application like this data visualization tool where you can just look at uh, 3D uh, visualizations of data um, and uh, play around with it. So here is a bit of um, 3D data we can play around with. Um, this application is one of the showcase applications that I will use for the... Um, for the challenge, and you can move stuff around. It's obviously multi-touch, so we can you know, play around with it. Um, but there will be lots more of this, and this application is actually not yet for prime time, uh, but I'm working on it. 
Um, so um, that's about it. And check out the my website if you want to, calcellar.com, where you're going to see all this stuff, and you can download everything. It's open source. And thank you very much for watching.